Even in all, space is getting busy. NASA's Maven Orbiter has suddenly gone silent around Mars. The interstellar object known as 3 i Atlas is behaving like nothing we've ever seen before, as well as the CIA acknowledging that they are hiding something. And 2026 is shaping up to be one of the biggest years of space exploration. Let's break down what's happening and why these are exciting times. First up, NASA's MAVEN spacecraft, and something strange is happening at Mars. For more than a decade studying the Martian atmosphere, MAVEN suddenly went silent in the early December. No telemetry since the 4th, just a single flickering fragment of data two days later, and the fragment was alarming. It showed MAVEN spinning as it emerged from behind Mars and possibly drifting off its expected orbit. Engineers are trying to regain control, but the timing couldn't be worse. Mars has slipped into solar conjunction, hidden behind the Sun, and NASA cannot send commands again until at least the 16th of January. So what not Maven off balance? I checked Maven's position on the 4th of December against Free Eye Atlas, and the comet's tail was nowhere near. Maven was behind Mars at the time, fully shielded. Other orbiters? MRO, Mars Express, HOPE, TGO, all in completely different orbital regimes, with no chance of a collision. Curiosity's Mars Cam even tried to spot Maven between December the 16th and the 20th, but nothing. Maven wasn't even where it should have been. Something had nudged it, of course. Now we wait. Once Mars clears Geromatic Solar Conjunction and reappears from behind the Sun, around the 16th of January, NASA will try again to hunt for Maven's signal. Until then, the other orbiters are keeping Perseverance and Curiosity online. Something happened out there, and we're about to find out what. Now, let's talk about the start of 2025, the interstellar comet 3 i Atlas. This feat is insane. And here is the moment every investigator knows only too well, the silence that says more than words. When John Greenwald submitted a Freedom of Information request asking the CIA for assessments, reports or even basic communications about 3 i Atlas, the agency didn't deny having records and they didn't admit it either. Instead, they just issued a standard response. The CIA can neither confirm nor deny the existence or non-existence of records. That's the kind of answer you expect in counter-intelligence cases, not routine astronomy. When a supposedly ordinary interstellar object triggers the same language used to shield national security, you have to ask, what exactly tripped the wire? What did Free Eye Atlas do or represent that pushed the CIA into lockdown mode? In policing, we call this behavioural clue. When someone refuses to answer a simple question, it's rarely because there's nothing to hide. And in other news, Hubble has captured massive sustained jets erupting from the nucleus. Jets that stay accumulated far longer than normal comet physics predicts. Some have suggested it's stabilising the comet, which again, natural objects just don't do. Even stranger is a large sunward antitail, which sparked debate among scientists. The antitail is still shooting particles in a collimated beam towards the sun, stretching out at over 400,000 kilometres. This is odd. Some scientists explain this away, but stated it's nothing more than a cryovolcano. But even cryovolcanoes cannot sustain an ejection stream that far out. The James Webb Telescope has confirmed that its coma is dominated by carbon dioxide, not water, a huge clue that it was formed in a very different environment around another star. Right now, Free White Atlas is fading as it leaves the inner solar system and heads towards Jupiter, but it's still visible through telescopes in the constellation of Leo. This is only the third interstellar object ever observed, and easily the most active. is the year humans finally returned to deep space. 
NASA's Artemis II mission with astronauts Reed Wiseman, Victor Glover, Christina Koch, and Canada's Jeremy Hansen are preparing for launch as early as February. If all goes to plan, they'll become the first humans to loop around the moon in more than half a century. But here's the question that's been simmering for decades. Why the enormous gap? With all our modern technology, why does returning to the moon feel harder now than it did 56 years ago? That silence and hesitation has fueled countless theories, some wild and some uncomfortably persistent. And NASA have certainly not helped themselves by deliberately blowing out photos and losing all the documentation and media to one of mankind's greatest achievements. I mean, who does that? <laughs> We're there! <laughs> and as Artemis rises, we predict a new wave of cover-ups and conspiracies. So, let's keep a close eye on this one and expect a fresh wave of speculation, secrecy and scrutiny. I feel this story is just the beginning. And please stay tuned for the next video because we believe you deserve the truth and we demand it. Take care. And remember, we don't just bring the news. We want to hear from you too. If you've got anything to report to us, please visit our website and get in touch.